What up, guys? Coming at you guys with another video. Here to talk about King Ryan Garcia saying that uh, he would have slept Devin Haney. Now, I don't want to hear anything from Ryan Garcia if I'm being honest with you guys. Um, I don't know if he's fully, you know, all the way there um, mentally, physically. Uh, he did pull out of the fight against Fortuna. And, uh,. I mean, shit, it's kind of crazy, though, because he was supposed to fight Fortuna. Now JoJo's fighting him, another Golden Boy fighter. He was supposed to fight um, Linares before this whole pandemic started. Uh, Devin ended up fighting him. So, you know what I'm saying? Ryan Garcia, at the end of the day, he had a good victory over uh, Luke Campbell. But, you know what I'm saying? It it, it just doesn't seem like he's uh, all the way there in boxing and... You know what I'm saying? I, I quite, right now, I quite don't, I don't know. I really just don't want to see him right now in boxing if he's not all the way there. Um, once I see him kind of like back in the training, like sparring and, uh, you know, Eddie, maybe if Eddie uh, says, you know, he's all the way, he's good, he can fight now, um, then I'll be interested. But as of right now, I really don't want to see anything uh, Ryan Garcia related, if I'm being honest with you guys. Now, Devin Haney, he overcame adversity, and I made a video on my channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and uh, check that one out. But like I said, Ryan Garcia, he said he would have slept them. Um, shit. I don't know, man. Right now, the fight that I really want to see, if I'm being honest with you guys, if uh, Teofimo Lopez can get past Cambosis would be that fight. But that's that's in the future right now. We got uh, we got we're gonna see what uh, Devin Haney has to say. I'm about to watch his uh post fight uh, press conference, and I'll probably get back at you guys. Peace.